Hi guys, welcome to another unboxing video. Today it's probably going to be a somewhat short one and it is a somewhat small package but it is a cool one I think and in the meantime I cooked myself a uh, espresso martini for my enjoyment. Cheers guys. Mm. Ah, delicious. Anyway, there was um, there's a bit of a story behind this, I guess. I found this at some point at um, at a Dutch keyboard meetup. I saw them twice, actually. And I was really intrigued by these. And I think I wanted to get into contact with them to send me a set, but for some reason it never happened. But at some point, quite recently, they contacted me, and I went, oh, fuck yes. So I just um, immediately said, yeah, because I really wanted to try these out. So... Uh, with that bit of backstory out of the way, let's take a look. <laughs> By the way, for once I really don't have to guess what's in there because... Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of a giveaway. Yes, again, it's a bit more of an unbagging than an unboxing, but hey, whatever it counts in my opinion. There you go. Take a little bit of a shortcut. Ah, that's nice. I don't even like coffee, but espresso martini. Mm. Right. Oh, two-parter in this case. So first, we have... A little baggie with what appears to be two switches and a switch slash keycap puller. Let's open that first. A very standard model. Not a bad one though, I like these. And two switches. Let's see. They look like box yellow or something, or at least a yellow box switch. Linear, is that the uh, golden yellow, royal yellow, or something? Does it say kale? Yeah, it does say kale on them. Yeah, I think these are the heavy linears that they uh, that they make off the top of my head. I could be wrong though. Nice of them to include it. And then, the Prime item. There you go. There's nothing else in here. It is a Seriki ceramic keycap set. Well, I guess that's basically the only thing it says on the box, really. Jero Profile, Ceramic, MX, and Clones. Producer B Land Technology Limited in Hong Kong. So, yeah, let's take a look. Hope you got yourself something nice to drink as well while watching this. Get rid of the sleeve. And then... Nice. Cool. So, there you go. <laughs> I think this is... Um, they call this the crazed keycap uh, set. They do them in all sorts of colors, uh, and both uh, flat color and gradient. But this sort of light blue gradient non-print, they do both printed legends and uh, without legends, a set I think they call their um, crazed set. And that seems to be their poster child, because maybe I still even have the little... Yeah, I still have the little flyer I picked up at some point. <laughs> during a meetup of them. So yeah, this is exactly the same keycap set. And I just think it looks really nice. It's got a really sort of porcelain look to it. Okay, so let's open this. Oh, come on. There you go. Obviously, I didn't want to open it too violently or the keycaps would go. 
flying everywhere. So as you can see, they are quite thick. And they have thick stems too, which looks like they were glued in, which makes sense, otherwise they would be impossible to make. So the stems were probably separately made and then glued into sockets in the keycaps. I hope that's visible here. Quite hefty too, very smooth obviously, it's glass smooth. Definitely looks like porcelain or something similar, some sort of enamel, I don't know. It's got interesting um, depth to it as well. The sort of bubbly look is a is a is a depth effect. Yeah, I hope you can see that on the camera. Very cool. Alone <laughs> this chunky space bar. Let's get that out real quick. Oh yeah. got some heft to it <laughs> I like it so this is an ANSI only set I see I kind of like that all the keys are different as well every single one of them looks slightly different so it's not just a standard print I think that they just put on there it's, it must be an effect that's created in situ it's really nice. So one of the things I want to do with this, it's um, probably going to show up on, I don't know, maybe on the 8-bit do or something, is uh, I want to do a sound test with these because I'm really curious to hear how this affects sound. I do, and I can't tell yet whether it's going to be better or worse. So for example, there's also metal keycaps, which I haven't reviewed, but I have seen them. and. Off the top of my head, they sound very dead, right? They kind of mute the sound, which can be a nice effect in a way. But I don't know, maybe these will also deaden the sound, but maybe they'll also bring it alive. And I don't know, I have decent hopes for it somehow. I think it might do well in the sound department. At the very least, it should be very interesting. So that's how I'm, I'm going to test them and, uh, and probably review them. I'm not entirely sure when, as almost certainly going to be a very short review, but we'll see uh, how my schedule evolves from here. In any case, I know it's a bit of a short video, but it's just a keycap set, it's not that much to keep waffling on about. In any case, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.